All right, I can't upgrade to anything really yet. Toughness is usually pretty good. Uh, dueling, no. Unarmed fighter. Caution. Demolitions is good to have. Empathy. Empathy, I think I got last time. We'll go with empathy for starters. Okay, powers. Here's the downside, though. You can't... body uh affect mine that might be one to get wound fear shock actually I think as soon as I get this there's no going back because I'm still in the transition that I want to go back to light side because you know I don't like being dark side it, it, it fucks you up everyone you go against just wants to kick your ass you know what I mean and all your your teammates will hate you. That's what I hate the most. Hell, I don't know. Should I go back to light side or should I say dark side? I don't know what to do. I've committed. We're doing it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just I hate doing it because like I know like I hate you're gonna have to be mean to T3 if you want the dark side points, or I could be neutral to T3. That way he'll... Yeah, I'll be neutral to T3. That's what I'll do. Come on, man. Bash the shit. Don't be a pussy. Fuck it. There we go. I forgot that this will open a door. It opens shit without breaking them. I lied. <laughs> Never mind. That failed more than you can know. Run! Don't even do it! Go! What the fuck? Get them all turned around. It's not funny. Here it is. Run! 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 Shut that shit off. There we go. Now all the droids are worthless. Guess I could have fought them. Scavenge the parts. I didn't scavenge this shit. Oh, I did. Okay. I'm just gonna scavenge all the droids. Problem with that? I didn't think so. Okay, done. Leave it alone. Because I, I really can't do anything about it, so... I have to go tell Atten he's an asshole. Get his ass out. You know what? If you're unsure, you know, th this, these type of games should be your, uh, your test, you know? Like in real life, okay? In real life. I've noticed, like, I get frustrated with the people in, in the world. Like, I really do. Like, in this, in my city, everywhere. I just want to knock bitches out, okay? Um... But when I play a game like this, I find I can't do this shit to, to these people. I, I have to, I just, I can't do it, you know? And that, I guess that shows that I'm actually a good guy. I'm not a, the asshole I thought. <laughs> so. Oh, that's where I came from. Um. Yes, I'm gonna let Atten out in just a minute. Hold on. Hold your horses, people. I don't think I can't go here yet. Yeah. There's a ship there, and I have to get into the ship. And you get some pretty good items. At least I think you do. The thing is, though, I remember I lucked out so bad. I'll, I'll mention it to you guys later. I'll, like, I'll, sh I'll point out which one I'm talking about. 
but there's an actual there's a point in this uh, in this level where there's a plasteel cylinder with potential rare items you could either get generic items or potential rare items So, it's not till we get on the ship, though, and you'll see it, like, I'll point it out, I'll mention which plasteel cylinder it is. I've got a couple rare items, like rare robes and things like that from it, it's been pretty cool, so, hopefully we get the same thing. But I doubt it, I've only got it, like, two times in, in all the game, all the, uh, spe the games I've saved on here, you know, and that's a lot. Like, obviously all my same, save games are on my original Xbox console, which I have no idea where the hell it is anymore. Beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. But you have nothing to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. And Aten is indeed one of those characters you can turn into a Jedi or a Sith. He's actually a neutral character and he goes whichever way you nice want. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Tell me what happened to your bitch now. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their Ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. There's a bounty on Captured Jedi? Why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is, there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Hmm. Was it caused by the Mandalorian Wars? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? I've heard a few rumors, but little else in my travels. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. See, here's where we can uh, choose it ourselves. Like, what happened. Like, this is cool. Depending on what we say, we can choose if uh, in the first game, Revan was a good guy or a bad guy. Or if it was male or female. See, look. The rumors I heard said Revan defeated Malak, then went to Korban to unite the Sith against the Republic. So basically that's saying he's a dark side, or you can go, I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. And that's what I'm going to put, because that's what he did. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. And then you could just say, that there's your thing. No. I like being in that cage, you stupid ass. Revan was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Enough, co enough history. Yeah, let me ask you something else. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? You must have seen what took place. From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Tell me your plan and we can go from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down this cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Miners in the med bay were murdered. Know why? Huh? What are you talking about?
<laughs> I'll switch out the cage, but if you try and run, I'll cut you down without a second thought. Bitch! <laughs> know your place. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Don't make any sudden moves. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and- Hey! <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> If I hear any more bad news, I'm gonna get violent. Like, what the fuck? It's the littlest shit, and he's just, like, freaking right out. I'm gonna get violent. This system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. That wouldn't be standard procedure in an emergency lockdown. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight and leave us here. Trapped. Must be a way to end the lockdown from here. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Let's see if we can try and reach someone on the comm. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Alright, so I can go to the comm and communicate with some bitches. Oh, did I do these already? Dragged at the freighter in. No. It wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship the Harbinger when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. So that's gonna mean true. What's it gonna mean, damn it? The bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid had seized up, so he left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. And to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a re Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... will no word from the Republic, but I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. God damn, Billy Jack, that's not good. Is anyone there? Answer me! Look who it is. Do a diagnostic, then follow my instructions. I don't know what to say. I don't want to be a dick to T3 because he's one of those guys who can really, like, f not do much. Can you unlock the turbo lifts? Is there some way out of here besides the turbo lifts? I'd rather risk it. Don't question my orders, just follow them. Doesn't matter, I don't think you get anything from that anyway. Here's a little, another thing where we play as T3 one more time, in case you didn't do it the first time, in the prologue. You get to play as the T3. Which is also a brand of scientific calculators. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I think. By Texas Instruments. God, it's very sad that I know that. Well, I went to high school, too. Give me a break. Or was it the T1? I don't fucking know. Who cares? All right. We're back. And we need to loot some bitches. Loot some bitches, buddy. Repair kits, foot locker. Components. Oh, okay. I'll have to come back then. See, at least what they did in this game was made it so that, uh... You, they made it so that you know if something's been searched or not. In the first one, they didn't. So you could go back and be like, oops, yeah. Now, I can't recall something. Hold on. Was I supposed to go this way? Die! Shoot him! Okay. I can't remember what you have to do here. Like, I don't know if you have to go down there first, or what. New for this console, laser has been used. Oh, I have to actually go get the parts, that's right, okay. And I can't get this one, no, that's the hangar bay. And this one is fuel depot. Okay, yeah, that's what you needed to do. You do have to go to the fuel depot, but you have to go down this way first. That's what this was for. Because you do come back here with your main character and everything, so. What are you doing? Die! Alright, thank you. These droids are such puss pusses. Yes, I said it. They are puss pusses. Pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to the fuel depot, son! Okay, come on. Gemma only. Gemma. The one thing about our RPGs is just that, you know. Take a million years. Trust me, this, see how it's the frame rate's all shit? It's always like this. In this one area. Always. You know why this game was so buggy when it, when it came out? Blame George Lucas. I'm dead serious. Like, this game was rushed. Purge the fuel lines, and I found three sonic charges attached inside. I checked the work logs, and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosives, but I can't seem to get a signal through. I've removed the remote detonators, and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in a secure hold in the hangar. Well, come on, dickhead.
Okay, stop with the glitchies. Anyway. Alright, we're going back up. Now we have to go to the, the fuel depot from the side there. I think. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. Even though I played it so many times, you think I'd remember, but... You know what? I just don't, man. I don't do it. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh no, they got shields now, bitch! You know they mean business. Which suck, like honest to god, the shields just get owned. Cause I'm Dan motherfucking Q8000, son! No, don't- Oh, you bitch. That was easy, see I told you. What's the big whoop? Just wanted to see. And there's a new weapon stance you could do. T3 is probably good ranged, you know? He doesn't really have a choice anyway. Oh, right. My bad. I gotta go up here first. Yeah, yeah. Repair it. Uh, access emergency control. Run diagnostic. And reroute it to the full... Okay. Check status. You can only open it to the hangar fuel deep. You can't open to 25. Oh, what the hell? What? I thought I had spikes. What the dick? Hold on. I do have- oh wait, I have a mine now. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go open that door that I forgot about. Stand back! It's deadly! There's three CFD. I got my flamethrower. There's usually some good shit in this one. Never mind. See, I me, mean, it's all random. You don't know. Or was it this one? Oh, dude, I don't know. Anyway, I should have enough now to uh, do the deed. See, so I have three now. Okay. Hangar logs. Might as well do them. You done? Being glitchy? That was weird. It was like frozen there. All incoming and outgoing freighters need orbital drift charts transmitted from Paragus in order to navigate the asteroid field surrounding mining colony. Without it, any vessel entering or leaving Paragus is in danger of being destroyed. So we'll transmit that shit. Aw, oh, you ass. And now being updated. Oh, okay. Uh, access hangar logs. Access log 25312 contraband. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Thanks for telling me. Maintenance violation. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in Med Bay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Navicomputer...